What's up guys? It's Jake here from Chief Live Gaming today. The start of a new mini series. That's right. Like I needed another project. Like I needed another mini series. But guys, it's happening. Today we are kicking off some Hellbrood conversions. That's right, guys. Hellbrutes, you heard me correctly. Now, it's a good time for Hellbrutes right now. They have just semi-recently gotten buffed from two attacks to four attacks thanks to the FAQ. And that's fantastic. They are not, uh, you know, a, a competitive unit by any means, but they're really cool. I really like them. And that's what you should strive for in this game, guys. Just enjoy it, have fun, play what you like. And as long as you're not playing with a bunch of super competitive players, you should be able to enjoy that part of the hobby pretty much uh, every game. So, Hellbrutes. I am extremely excited, guys. My plan is to have one Hellbrute for each Chaos God. Okay, so we're going to have one Slanesh, one Nurgle, one Corn, and one Zeej, Hellbrute. Now, there are a few formations in the back of my mind that I seem to remember from the Chaos Space Marines Codex, one of which is the five Hellbrutes, I think it's called the Murder Pack, where you bring five Hellbrutes, one of them is like a character, or a sergeant, or a, a, a champion, and then you have four sort of bodyguard Hellbrutes that ride around in a unit and just mess stuff up. So, the plan, again, have four Chaos Gods within the four Dark Vengeance Hellbrutes. And then this guy here, this is a Cholgrath model. He's going to be my champion, my sergeant, whatever you want to call him, uh, for that formation specifically. Now, I'm going to leave them there. I have quite a bit of work to do, guys. I have a few ideas in mind for some simple conversion work, some some rather basic conversion work to bring the Hellbrutes up to a little bit more interest level because if you're looking at this, this is the stock Dark Vengeance Hellbrute. If you have four of these, even if you paint them differently, you know, for the Chaos Gods, it gets a little bit monotonous. It gets a little bit stale. So I, I like to have just a bit of variety. I have a few ideas for that. And in this little mini-series, we're going to kick that off. In the first video, which you guys are watching right now, I'm just going to show you what I have lined up for the conversion work. I'm going to kind of... I think what I'll probably do is, is do the conversion work, prime them, and then show them to you guys. And we'll go over what I've done. So maybe it can inspire some of you guys as well to get your own Hellbrutes up and running. I know this is probably a pretty common idea to have uh, one Hellbrute for each... Chaos God, maybe not, but I think it's fantastic, very thematic, and uh, should be pretty fun. So, the ideas that I have so far, just before we before we skip ahead in the video, I'm going to grab Pointer here. This multi-melta, which comes on the Dark Vengeance model, is, is a fine weapon, right? So, I'm probably going to leave at least one or two of the Hellbrutes with this assembled, but for a couple, at least, I want to chop this and uh, add a different weapon. I've done this in the past. You guys may have seen this in my Hellbrute conversion videos. Uh, if not, feel free to check that in my in my uh, playlists down below. But you can basically extend these barrels, make them look like more convincing las cannons or whatever you decide to run. I have some weapons left over from I think it's the uh, Forge Fiend, those huge like maw cannons that I might try to fit on here. Um, We'll see what I can find. Now, I also have the idea of this icon here, of sanding this off, and for each Hellbrute, either freehanding or finding those little tiny icons that you stick usually on, they come in Rhino kits, on this right here. So it'll each, like the Nurgle one will have the Nurgle symbol, etc. Which should be pretty fun. That'll just add a nice little flare. And then additionally, I want to have some kind of heavy flamer mounted here for each Hellbrute. So the idea being that if... Uh, we have them in the formation, or they're running around by themselves. They all have heavy flamers. You're eating a nasty wall of flame, and uh, just I just like flamers. I'm a sucker for template weapons. So that's my idea so far. Again, the Nurgle, as you guys know, I'm I'm a Nurgle fanatic. The Nurgle brute is probably going to get a lot more attention than the other three gods, just because I think I'll use him most often. Um, I have the thought to put a Nurgling inside of the controls and have him kind of driving the Hellbrute, so to speak, more Dreadnought style. But uh, whether or not I get to that, 
we will see. I've seen it done before. There's probably a lot of awesome videos on YouTube for you guys. If that's something that you really want to see, I would suggest uh, looking around on YouTube. There's probably a couple other guys that have done it and done tutorials on it. Uh, the other thing is the Nurgle narrative. So just a, a small, a slight spoiler alert for the Nurgle narrative. The whole idea there is that my Chaos Sorcerer is trying to use Tyranid stuff to create and fuse up a kind of super disease, super weapon, and use it to augment his Chaos Forces. So we're going to have a lot of Tyranid bits meshed into the Nurgle Brute, which will coincide with the Nurgle narrative. So, um, a lot of stuff that I have planned. We'll see what I actually get done, guys. I'm going to stop blabbering, get to work, and then I'll come back to you guys with uh, some of the conversions done and talk about them. What's up, guys? We're back. A couple days of conversion work, and everything's dry, and I'm ready to show it to you. So here we have the Nurgle Hellbrute. One of the more involved conversions, again, because this guy's going to be in my narrative campaign, I wanted him to be a pretty involved conversion. We'll start with the Heavy Flamer. Every Hellbrute I have has a Heavy Flamer. This guy, I've given a tentacle uh, kind of growth thing out of, his, out of his palm here. He has that little mouth there. And the tentacle's growing out of it in place of Heavy Flamer. So that's to uh, kind of warn people that there is a Flamer weapon there, a short range. Tentacle's going to come out and whack you in the face. Pretty cool. Uh, I like how this worked. I've had this bit forever, I just really wanted to use it. So we've got the multi melta stock on this arm, which is fine. And then on the back you can see I've got this Tyranid, I think it's a Carnifex backplate. So what I did was I strapped this plate on here and put a, t a little toxin sack from I think a Venom Cannon on the back underneath. And then I did a reroute of this tubing, the idea here being that Maybe the multi melta is infused with some kind of bioplasma or caustic bioweaponry. Stuff like that. Just options in the future. Scything, uh, scything talents have been uh, embedded there as well. And then just green stuff work to kind of smooth it out. You can see there that uh, the primer is starting to come off. But we'll, uh, take care of that. So the more involved conversion of the four... I think it turned out quite well. I wanted this to be a pretty custom model for my narrative campaign as well as just uh, the uniqueness of it. Nurgle has a lot of conversion potentials, so Confu uh, infused Nurgle units with Tyranids is pretty fun, and that's kind of going to be the centric idea of my campaign, so this guy will take a, a pretty good part of that. Okay, the next up Hellbrute. We've got the Heavy Flamer here, and the rest of my Hellbrutes, I'm just going to gloss over the Heavy Flamer being two Flamers strapped together, chucked it underneath their arm, nothing too crazy. It worked out, worked out okay, it's just mainly to let my opponents know, okay, here look, there's, there's a Flamer, remember there's a Flamer there, and I think that does that job pretty well. Let's get my hand out of there so it's bright. Okay, this arm, we've got... I believe a Forge Fiend weapon here, and this is going to be, I believe I'm going to use it as a Plasma Cannon. So, I think the scaling's okay. It's a little big, but it's 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 not bad, honestly, so that worked out quite well. We rerouted the um, tubing, and I actually got the stock, uh, the tubes, so if you look at the multi melta those tubes on the lower side, I got them all to line up, so that worked out pretty well. Definitely recommend trying this if you guys want to add a little bit of variety to your Hellbrutes from the Dark Vengeance kit. Throwing a different weapon on, pretty easy to do. Looks great. So that was the next one, and this is the, I think I'm going to use this as the Slanesh Brute. I'm going to get my hand so it brightens it up. And this, the only thing I did to the Slanesh Brute is give him that heavy flamer, and otherwise I left him, oh, see you later. I left him, um, I guess, stock, or didn't do any other conversion work on him, just because I don't think I'm going to use him that often, just when I'm doing that formation with the four Hell Brutes, and I didn't want to uh, put in as, as much time on this guy. So, the heavy flamer there, I'm trying to get you guys an angle, that one's a little more embedded into the palm. The last brute, 
This one I'm not sure about, guys. Uh, I gave him this other Forge Fiend weapon, and it's really long. So I put it on there and kind of dry fit it without this cap on the front. It's a separate piece. And if you can kind of get an idea there, that length looks okay. But then you put that cap on there, and it's like massive. So the idea here was that this is going to be an auto cannon on his arm, and it looks okay, right? Like, oh, I muffed up that green stuff here. You can see it came up over that that uh, button there. Oh well, it's uh, it's just a little big. So I don't know if I would do this again, but it it looks okay. Let me know what you guys think. So we've got just maybe a, a look here it's it's just really big <laughs> it's not quite to scale but you know what that's okay it's 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 fine and it's pretty obvious right that he's got uh, some kind of gun that's different than the multi melta so that does its job correctly again just the flamers here and that was it for this guy so the one thing I didn't do, if you guys have noticed, I did not replace the Chaos Stars on any of the Brutes. And honestly, guys, I just forgot to do that. Uh, I was in kind of a... I wanted to do these conversions relatively quickly, so I just kind of went through them, doing some quick little touches to them as much as possible, and I ended up forgetting to sand those off before I primed them. I may still do that, because I think it's pretty neat to have that extra uh, touch to the models. It really adds that next level of... Uh, customization so as you can see even with this conversion work I'm gonna go off tripod just a little they're still really really similar the models like there's not much variety when you stand them next to each other which is you know the, the nature of the uh, the model but this at least breaks it up a little bit so if I'm fielding all four of them together we'll have a little bit more variety my idea which I think will be uh, pretty fun, is to do, since these are uh, representative of all four of the Chaos Gods, I field all four of the Hellbrutes alongside of my Infernal Tetrad conversions, and then we've got some really cool Chaos, like undivided, full God representation on the table, and maybe try to bring one of the elite squads for each from Chaos Space Marines, like, so, you bring a squad of Thousand Suns, Noise Marines, Plague Marines, and Corn Berserkers. And then from the Chaos Demon side, you bring one of the troops' choices from each god. Plague Bearers, Screamers, Bloodletters, that kind of stuff. Or not Screamers, Pink Horrors. And I think that'd be a really cool thematic list. I might try that at some point. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any other ideas for these conversions, let me know. Before I get to painting on them, I'm going to let it sit in the comments for a little while. Let me know if you guys have any other thoughts and uh, we'll take a look so thanks for watching guys this video went a little bit longer than I wanted to but I hope it's been interesting giving you guys maybe a little bit of inspiration some ideas for your own conversions let me know if I helped you out if you have your own Hellbrew conversions link me some pictures in the description I want to see them pretty cool stuff and let me know how you guys use Hellbrutes in your own games because I'm gonna start fielding them and Whew, they're just not great. That With the four attacks, though, you know, I think I can make it work. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you again for your continued support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.